Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the React JS interview questions tutorial series. Now in this video, we'll discuss on React hooks. What is state, set state, and use state? Why and where we use them in a React JS components? If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. I'm using Visual Studio Code to create a React JS application. Before adding on React.js application or a file in this project, first we have to know in React.js there are two types of components. One is functional component and the second one is class component. Now we here in this video tutorial series, I am explaining about why we use state, use state and set state. So for that I refer two components, class components and functional components. First let's add on create one class component in our project under source folder right click the mouse new file the file name is let's add the c for class component.js import react from react library after that i'm defining one class the class name is c my file name extends react.component after that this function return not return render this class render return and the return method I am adding let's add one element h1 tag react.js tutorials interview questions interview questions after that i'm adding one horizontal line let's put this in a center tag center center tag now let's discuss about where and why we use state use state and set state in these components in this class component or functional component here we are taking the class component. When we are declaring a class component, if we want to define state, state is nothing but an object. If you take the object oriented programming languages like C++, Java, etc. Where we create objects with the help of constructor. So here also the same scenario, if you want to create the objects. Here in React.js, the objects are nothing but a state, props, methods, events, like button click events like that. These all we can define with the help of constructor. So first let's define one constructor. Constructor. Once we define a constructor, the immediate step is we need to add the super method because our component, this React class, is extends the component class. So we need to add the super method. If we don't add the super method, it will throw an error. After that, I am defining one state is equals to the value is zero. By default, the state value is now. Here also I have assigned zero. And so instead of zero, I am assigning one. So now the state value is one. I want to print this state value on the browser so for that in the return I am adding h3 tag between curly brackets this dot state dot value now final step export default my class name let's save this file save all now we need to add this class to our app.index.js file then only we can run our application import from my path name now i want to render instead of app component i'm adding my component name cc comp let's say all now let's run this application go to view go to terminal here control c 
make sure the path name is correct now let's start npm start enter and here we got the output of our application notice the react js the header tag and one the value the state value which is one the state value one i have declared here so first we have defined the state state is nothing but a object in react js where we have to initialize in a constructor method to initialize the values we use state or props state also we have to initialize the value now my next target is set state where we use set state and why we use set state now i want to modify the state value here the state value is one now my aim is if i want to increment this value change the value when a button click or button press I want to change the state value for that I use set state so let's add one button control here horizontal line and button control let's add click click the event name is on click event the event is on click event this dot when we want to modify or update the state value, we use set state. Set state is a method between curly brackets value this dot state dot value plus one. Let's save this file. Now reload the browser. Here we got one button control. Now when I click button control, notice here the value is incrementing. So the set state hook is used to modify or update a state value. We use set state in a class component. Set state we use only in a class component. We don't use set state in a functional component. Set state is belongs to the class component. And state is to initialize the values in a constructor. Now use state. Suppose the use state is also do the same thing to update the state value or uh, modify the state value but here if i use use state instead of set state i'm using use state in the class component let's save this file save i'm reloading the browser and i click button control notice here this dot use state is not a function so use state is not belongs to the class component if you want to modify the state value or update the value change the value of the state value we use set state not use state use state is belongs to the functional component in functional component we use set we do not use set state we use use state so let's find out here i'm adding um, state uh, use state use functional component functional dot js so let's import first import react from react react library function use functional use functional export default use functional now let's define one constant variable it's a value increment value increment value 
Here in the class component, we use set state, but here, here we use use state. Notice here when I add this use state hook, it's added automatically. So I have just initialized the use state. The value I have assigned zero instead of zero a one. So here the value is nothing but the state. Here I have different state. Here I am using value. So let's display the value here. Uh, do tag h1 value. Let's save this file. Save all. Copy this component name. We need to change uh, my component name instead of ccom. This one import my component name from the path of the component. Increment value is not assigned. Let's reload. First, let's delete this one. Save this file. I'm reloading the browser. Oops, here we got an error. This usually means a return. Sorry, we need to add the return statement. Return. Let's save this file again. Save all. And here we got the value one, which I have assigned in use state one. Now I want to modify this value here in the class component we have used the set state but here we are using use state so to modify or to update any values we need one more variable here let's add the increment incremental set Let's close this center tag. Horizontal line. I'm adding one button control. Click. Now here also we require the on click event. This on click event. Uh, it's curly brackets. Curly brackets. When I click the button control, I want to change this. Uh, I want to change the value using this use state. So incremental is a new variable here, which keeps update value plus one. Let's save this file. Save all. We'll check the update. Reload the browser. Click. Two, three, four, five. Notice here the values are changing. So the use state hook we use in the functional component whenever we require the value update or modify. The state value is update or modify. We use use state in a functional component. We don't use use state in a class component. Use state is belongs to the functional component. Whereas the set state is belongs to the class component to modify or update or changes for the state values. And state we must define in the constructor using this dot state. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel.